You have, you have 60, you have 6 minutes. I have 16 minutes? No, 6 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 6 minutes. Okay. Okay. Um, he doesn't know this. Thank you very much, uh, club members. Good evening uh, to all the officers and uh, to all the guests. Um, uh, my name is, uh, for those who don't know yet, uh, my full name is Ebenezer Maninang. It's a tongue twister. The Philippine, my Filipino friends cannot pronounce Ebenezer. <laughs> And here in America, they couldn't pronounce many names, so <laughs> I've gotten used to it. I've got, uh, the funny thing is, I've gotten used to be my name being murdered every time. I was called Eraser, Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> <laughs> this only Ezra is fine, you know? uh, and uh, lots of others, like even Belshazzar. You know? <laughs> yeah. For those Filipinos, I had a teacher who doesn't. Uh, <coughs> I couldn't pronounce my family name. Uh, one time she misspelled it as Mani Nangal. <laughs> In English, it's uh, like a vampire or something. <laughs> um, my parents were single uh, when they were uh, uh, joined the WCG, and I was uh, born into WCG, so I guess I would call the second generation. Uh, my father worked in the office, just like here, on the headquarters, and later he became a pastor. Uh, I'm the only son, and I have, uh, we have uh, three sisters, I'm the eldest, and um, my sisters are uh, Heidi, you haven't seen her yet, mm. then Jewel, you've seen her, and Yasmin, who came here with my mom, then went back. So, um, my early lives were, you know, basically, this was all the kids, but my life was, when my father became a pastor, we, we, we moved from place to place, so I had the opportunity of, you know, really seeing a lot of places in the Philippines. Uh, really, you know, uh, seeing a lot of members, <coughs> and the only thing that um, there's a, a, a bad disadvantage was that I couldn't develop roots in the community because we were always moving, but you could always see people and all their experiences, but that's what I miss, you know, because um, when I met my wife, she has roots in the community, and she has friends too, you know, and family and neighborhoods, that's one thing I miss, but this is fine. Um, um, Life in WCG or you know when I was growing up was full of activities, you know, for those of you who are familiar with FLT, SCP, DUB. And then uh, after graduation of college I moved here and with my wife. Uh, uh, for those who don't know her, she's Marianne Manning. We were married, uh, I have to make this right, uh, October 27, 2001. I'm going to make a mistake. Um, <laughs> yeah. so, you know, if you're newly married, that's one of the mortal mistakes you might commit. <laughs> you forget that date. <laughs> yeah. uh, she's the perfect one for me. Um, she completes me, she's complimentary. Um, uh, yeah. when, I was, uh, so when I was early singles, 1920, I had a Set date that I'll get married at 28. Mm -hmm. You know, it never happened. And I was uh, discouraged. Mm -hmm. But my mom said, you know, just try and pray to God. And, uh, for two years, I prayed to God. <laughs> One thing led to another. Um, it's a funny thing because it led me to resign a very stable job. It led me to join a very um, a good private job, but it was very risky. And because of that, I ended up here. <laughs> it's a long story. And, uh, um, my wife. and I got two kids. Uh, for those who don't know yet, uh, they're Annika, Gabrielle, that's her full name, and Ezra James, so we call him EJ for, for short. And so I feel that, uh, oh, two minutes, okay. I feel that I have uh, my life, you know, I have completed the cycle of life. Now I'm a father. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I feel that. Uh, um, whatever my, if you know the expression pay forward, whatever, you know, my parents gave it to me and I had the chance of uh, sharing all the blessings I've learned of all the things I've uh, been given to the family, to my family. Uh, when I was um, um, early adolescence, maybe, or 19, late teens, I always thought of myself as a duckling mm -hmm. and uh, I was uh, envious or really hope that I would like to be an eagle like 
I looked up to our pastors, to our leaders in the community, to my professors, and I could see them that they could, you know, they could fly, and if they were birds, they were soaring high with all their careers, all their accomplishments. And I always felt that I was a duckling, trapped, you know, and circling around, nowhere to go. It's like uh, being, you know, um, useless, nonetheless, or don't know where to go. But when we changed to the new covenant and I learned about Jesus, I suddenly found that I was indeed an eagle. Mm -hmm. I just don't spread my wings. And now I've learned that I'm an eagle and I'm trying to spread my wings and where God brings me. And I'm very happy to be a part of this club so that I can share with you our experiences and you know get to know you and join you, my fellow eagles. Mm -hmm.